I live in dairy country, which needs lots of grass, and lots of grass needs good dirt, and in good dirt grow good trees. Some of the biggest trees in the world grow here, which is likely why I like trees so much. I recently saw it from the sky, for the first time actually, in a small plane. My best mates gave me an instructed, self-flown joy flight. When I was given the controls, I headed straight for home, wanting very much to do some kind of flyby on the farmhouse and scare Helen. But instead, I saw how many of the creeks and folds of the rolling hills were completely bare of trees. I'd never noticed the stark difference before. I had an idea. Because there are 1,440 minutes in a day, and because I like planting trees, why don't I plant a tree a minute for 24 hours? I reckon I can do that. Find a patch of farmland with a bare creek and make it bushland again. It was a good idea, but it took weeks to gather up all the stuff. I got a hold of 1,440 mixed native local trees. I picked up sticks to use as stakes. Drank a lot of milk and spent a long morning packing the ute and trailer before driving over the hill to my mate's farm. This is Heath, by the way. Here we are as kids about to eat cake. 35 years later, he's a recycled woodman with half a beard. His 20 acres is an old four cow dairy. It's a cracking block. I couldn't think of a better place to plant trees. Did I mention it rains a lot on our good dirt? So Heath, is Bo's car gonna make it? Uh, I don't like his chances. I'm an optimist. I'm going to say it's 70-30. 70% chance we're going to get through. The trouble with being an optimist is 30% happens quite a bit. <sighs> Disappointing. See bogged, mate? Yeah. Yep. Alrighty. Voila! A forest in a car! Exciting! We're finally on site with some trees! It's a lot of stuff when you see it here like this. You think, gee, this is going to be a pretty full day. I wonder how the hands will hold up. You've got better hands than me, mate. Look at that. Look at you dirty bastard. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're a hundred. mate. I like the fact that this is going to be, I'm standing here in 24 hours time and this is going to be a very different space. I stand here in two years time and this is a really different space. This is granddad's old clock. I think it's actually a bit slow so it's probably going to be 24 hours and 15 minutes. Okay, I'm going to take some, I'll take a whole bunch of trees over first. And away we go. These are good hardwood stakes. They last longer than bamboo in the ground. That goes on the back. I want to go as high as... That's the first. So it's not really a tree every minute. What I hope is that I plant a tree for every minute of the day. 1,440 overall. I'm being fussy, 
Come on, fella. It'll be an ebb and flow kind of thing, where I go nuts planting as many as I can when things are on song. The beautiful Streslecki. To be honest, I don't know if I can plant this many trees in a day. I just made up the idea. Oh, got a nice bit of um, cow shit. Hope it's cow shit. Banana sandwich. I'm not showing you my mouth while I eat because that's rude. One of the largest living things on planet Earth is this tree. Our famous eucalyptus regnans. Massive. Probably the biggest one to ever grow was felled by the Cornthwaite brothers about 50 kilometers from here and they chopped it down to see how tall it was. And sure enough, it was very tall. I'm getting close to finishing off some trays, so uh, that's nice. And I think I'm getting better systems. Find where the tree's supposed to grow, whether it be wet, not so wet or dry and then just follow the watershed, both sides. Walk up and down with one tray, plant them sparingly, finish them, move on to the next tree or shrub. Love it, very satisfying. You're basically being mother nature. You're trying to create a um, mixed forest. I'm a bit sore and a bit starting to slow up a bit earlier than I thought. It sort of reinvents your idea of what the day can produce as well. Like tomorrow I'll just go on to being a parent. Won't skip a beat. I'll be a bit tired, but I'll have created a forest the day before. I think that's excellent. But there's still a lot of trees sitting around in um, trays that are just saying, I ain't in the ground yet, man. It's a very satisfying movement, pulling a stake out of your backpack. Feel like you're about to do battle with an orc. Hi, love. Hi. Dirty hands. Oh, look at Daddy's hands. A bit dirty? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's a microphone. Oh yeah, she's like, I want to. You talk into it. Pink, yeah, pink sky. You'd be bending over like 3,000 times, minimum. <laughs> yep throughout 24 hours, yep. if you think of it like that. Yes. So with and this halfway. paddock that we're on here. This is all planting. It's called um, Bowes Creek or Heath Creek. We're not sure yet. Dad. Thanks, darling. <laughs> Good one. May, may do it. Yeah, yeah, you go. Yeah. That looks like an interesting plant. Yeah. Not seeing it in the daylight. Mm -hmm. Like marijuana. Planting trees on farms is about transition. It's not about returning all pasture back to bush, just the wet and the steep stuff. Jeez, it's remarkable just what a hard hooved animal does. It's played into our hands a little bit here. One, they've made the grass short, and two, they've created all these miniature dams. And the cows are now a bygone era for this patch of land for a while, maybe for an awful long time. Folds of land where creeks once were is where biodiversity can thrive. And it's a bloody good place to start planting trees. Even at night by people with sunscreen on. I reckon the percentage of trees that get planted at night, at least legal ones, is um, not many. I reckon that's what the neighbours with the dog were thinking. What the hell is going on in that paddock? I'm planting myself a big old dope field. I can feel every sinew of me right now. All bits of bow have had a bit of a talking to. 
in that Aussie spirit, no worries, mate. Living the dream, people. Look at that. Bloody bought one. Ah. Okay, alarm set for four. Bring it on. It's gonna scare the shit out of me. If I wasn't laying here right now, I would have had another 17 trees done. If I wasn't laying here right now, I'd have another 65 trees done. Bo, you haven't slept a wink. You would have planted 250 trees by now. The air closing in on 150 trees since getting up at five past four. It's like one of those fake sleeps. You don't really sleep. I was just too busy counting trees. Looking forward to the sun coming up because the head torches keep dying and I, my spatial awareness is a bit crap. Jesus, Bo, right next to another one. Well, need a couple of more good voiceovers because the film at the moment is pretty, I don't know, it's a bit fucking one dimensional. Humans have an allotment of energy we burn in our lifetimes. Busy people burn a lot, less busy people burn less. But we all choose how to spend that energy. As a runner and a kiker, I love burning hot for long periods of time. Tens of thousands of calories. Hell bent on seeing new places, feeling new things. Soaked to the bone in sweat and blisters and chafe from constant movement. But at the end of such experiences, completely knackered and adjusting to this new version of yourself, it also represents an invisible endpoint for all those calories, with nothing to show but a story to tell. I'm in a phase of life now where I want to see something at the end of all that energy. What a workspace. That's what people with nice offices say. Such a lovely space. <laughs> Plant you on an island, surrounded by cow shit and water. I'm wishing you luck, mate. I think there's another, still 400 up there, 450 even. In fact, it is 450. So, be right down to the wire. There's still about 200 trees to go and I've got 90 minutes. I'm trying a different method that I can, hopefully I can just remember where I've been and then do speed planning without compromising quality. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm real tired, but uh, it's called cool, tree a minute. Not a tree every minute and five seconds. Shit, there's one just sitting there, ready to be planted. You're losing it, mate. You just got trees lying around the paddock. 75 to go. Come on. Yeah, the cockies are proof. They're out there going, yeah, good idea, Bodhi. Plant a couple of trees, mate. Creating a forest, man. These are a sexy little tree. Might be the hardest bit of running I think I've ever done. The body is screaming at me. 25 trees to go. With what? 12 minutes. Holy shit. Why do things come down to the wire? This is what university students do. They hand their assignments in one minute before it's due. I'm doing the same with bloody planting trees. Ugh. Where's your first hole, mate? You dickhead, you stood on it. Jesus, that almost broke my back just getting there. 
Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uphill. Smart, Bo. Smart. Keep quality control right to the end, Bodie. Don't slacken off, jerk off. Two to go, two to go. Uphill slightly. Thwarted, I've missed one. I have to do one next to the clock, just for the theater of it. Oh, a rock. First bloody rock of the entire paddock. Am I kidding myself? Have we got five minutes to spare? Piece of cake, man. I knew it'd be easy. <laughs> I'll see if I can drop it from above. That's it, 1440. Oh. oh shit. I just want to sit down, goddammit. Many of the things I do these days seem like stunts. It's true, they are. But they're not meaningless. I really like doing one thing because simplicity can only lead to complexity. Planting a tree might be one of the best metaphors for something simple turning into something complex. Habitat, good air, stable ground, shade, wood to make a chair, and a thousand other things I'll never fully understand. All going to plan, I've just put in the ground an entity that will breathe long after I'm gone. Which makes me pretty emotional if I think about it. Everything that can kill or grow a tree will now take place. Wind and rain or lack of it, rabbits, deer, frost and bugs, stray cows and people looking for dope. Good luck trees, I'll be back. Now you may have noticed in the introduction to this film that my daughter was packing her toy ute while I loaded the trailer. Boot. Pop that in the boot, pop your trees in the boot. Two trees were placed in her small plastic car. I didn't know this until making the film. I blamed Helen until I saw the footage of me seeing it in action. A oh, good one! <laughs> oh, that's perfect! So I only planted 1,438 trees. I'm learning to live with it.